Welcome to Discovery School's virtual learning platform. Welcome back, Basic 9 students. Today, on mathematics, we just be proceeding to what? Trigonometry. Example 1. A right angle triangle ABC is such that angle B is 90 degrees, line AC is 15 centimeters, and angle C is 34 degrees. Calculate the value of line AB. To do that, first of all, you draw your 90 degree right angle is 90. And we are told that the angle at B is 90, so this place should be what? B. So we can call here A, and we can call here C. So we join. We are also told that the angle at C is 34 degrees. So this angle here is 34 degrees. We are also told that line AC is 15 cm. Line AC is 15 cm. We are told to calculate the value of line AB, line AB. So let's call that line AB what? X. Let line AB be equal to what? X. So we are looking for X. So we have to label our sides. What is the angle in question? The angle in question is C, which is 34 degrees. So the side opposite C, 34 degrees, is called the what? Opposite. So this x is our opposite. This other side adjacent is called the adjacent, making an angle with 90 degrees. And this slanted side is called the hypotenuse. First of all, you ask yourself, what side are you giving? You are giving the hypotenuse 15 cm, which. Which what side are you looking for? You are looking for x, which is the opposite. So you have OH. Which one has OH is x, which is so. Remember your so ka twa. So the one that has OH is your S, which is sine. Therefore, you are using sine. Sine theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse. And what is our theta? Our theta is the angle which is 34 degrees. So sine 34 degrees is equal to what's our opposite? Is the X we are looking for? all over the hypotenuse, which is what? 15. When you have something like this, you base over 1 and cross multiply. Cross multiply. And that will give us x times 1 is x equals to 15 times sine 34 is 15 sine 34 degrees. So our x will give us equals to 15 times what is sine 34 degrees. We have to go to our four figure table and look check under signs of angles. We have to check under signs of angles. You go through you have four figure table you have signs of angles x in degrees. So you go to screw down under x you go to 34 under 0. So the first number you get there is 0 0.5592. 0 0.5592. That is sine 34. 0 0.5592. So what do you do now? You multiply... 0 0.5592 by 15. Let's do our long. 0 0.5592 times 15. 2 times 5 is 10. Put that 0, carry 1. 5 times 9 is 45. Plus that 1. 46, carry 4. 5 times 5 is 25. Plus 4, 29. Carry 2. 5 times 5 is 25. Plus 2, 27. Carry 2. 5 times 0 is 0. Plus 2 is 2. Use your 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 0 is 0. You add up. 0, 6 plus 2, 8. 18, carry 1. 12, 13, carry 1. 8, 0. How many places of decimal? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So you put your decimal here. The zero after decimal is less. So our answer now, x is now 8.388. 8.388 centimeters. 8.388 centimeters. If you are told to approximate to two decimal place, this 8 add one to the other 8 becomes 8.39. They say approximate to one decimal place, 8 add one to 3 becomes 4, 8.4. They say approximate to the nearest centimeter, it becomes 3 cannot add to 8, so it becomes 8 what centimeters. So your answer is 8.388 centimeters. Find the value of x and y in the figure below. Find the value of x and y in the figure below. Our angle of contest is this one. So look at the side opposite the angle is y. It's called opposite. The side making angle 90 with the opposite is called adjacent. And here is called the hypotenuse. So to get x, to get x, x is adjacent, which is a. The side given is hypotenuse H. Remember your so katwa. So ka twa. Which one has H is ka. So you are using cos. Cos theta equals to what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Our theta is our angle in question. Cos 47 degrees equals to our adjacent is X over hypotenuse is what? 30. What do we do? Cross multiply. Cross multiply. We have x times 1 give us x equals to 30 times cos 47 becomes 30 cos 47 degrees. So x will give us 30 times. The same thing we have to go back to our cosines of angles. Cosines of angles. Cosines of angles, we look for 47. If you look at cosines of angles in degrees, up to this place is 44. So you move to the next page, we have 44. Okay, this, on the same page, we have 45. We have 45, 46, 47. If you see 47 under 0, is 0. Point 8, 8, under 47, we have 0 0.6820, 0 0.6820, so, cos 47 is 0 0.6820, so what do we do? We multiply 0 0.6820 by 30, by 30, to do that, to remove this zero, this point place of decimal comes here. Because 6.820 times 3, to make it easier for you. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 6, 2 is 6. 3 times 8, 24. Put down 4, carry 2. 3 times 6, 18. 18 plus 2 is what? 20. How many places of decimal? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So your answer is what? X is what? 20.46. Zero after decimal is useless. 20.46 eh? centimeters. 20.46 centimeters. Then to get, to get the Y, to get the Y, Y in question, Y is opposite. O. And you, are look, you have hypotenuse H. So you are using sine which is your soul. So you say sine theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse. Sine 47 degrees equals to your opposite there is y. All over your hypotenuse is 30. The same thing base over 1 and cross multiply. That will give us y times 1 will give us y equals to 30 times sine 47 which is 30 sine 47 degrees. So your Y will give us 30 times, what is sine 47? So let's go to sines of angle, sines, sines of angle 47 under zero, we have 0 
0 0.7314 0.7314 so multiply 0 0.7314 by 30 0 and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 3 times 4 is what? 12 put down 2 carry 1 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 4 3 times 3 is 9 3 times 7 21 carry 2 3 times 0 0 plus 2 2 you add up, we have 0, 2, 4, 9, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Your answer becomes 21.942. Y equals to 21.942 centimeters. 21.942 centimeters. Example 3, from the right angle, triangle ABC. B equals to 90 degrees. If A equals to 69 degrees and line AB is 90 and find the length of BC. So solution to do that, get your right angle. You see our angle at B is 90. So this is B. You can call your A. You can call your C. And close up. We are told that angle A is 69 degrees. And line AB is 9 centimeters. We are told to look for line BC. So, to solve this, this is the angle in question. So, opposite this place is called opposite. Here is called opposite. This side making angle 90 with opposite is called adjacent. And here is called what? Hypotenuse. So, first of all, you ask yourself, you are looking for line BC. And line BC is opposite. And you are giving line AB, which is adjacent. So, which one has from your soca toa? Soca toa. Which one has OA is tan? So we are using tan, tan, theta equals to what? Opposite over adjacent. What is tan theta? Is the angle in question? Tan 69 degrees equals to opposite is uh, BC all over adjacent is 9. So base over 1 and cross multiply. BC times 1 will give us line BC equals to 9 times tan 69 degrees so our line bc now give us equals to nine times let's look for tan 69 tan 69 go to tangent of angles you go to tangent of angles under 69 i have 2.605 2.605 2 so tan 69 is 2.605 so times it by 9 2.605 times 9 5 times 9 is 45 carry 4 9 times 0 is 0 plus 4 4 9 times 6 is 54 put down 4 carry 5 9 times 2 18 plus 5 23 how many places of decimal 1 2 3 1 2 3 so your answer your line bc is equals to 23.445 centimeters 23.445 centimeters so for your activity two number one given that the right angle triangle xyz angle y is 90 line xy is 14 cm and z angle is 54 calculate yz you can draw the triangle yourself and number two go to exercise 15.6 Numbers 1 to 3 on page 170 of your mathematics textbook. Do the exercise number 1 to 3 there. And number 3, find the value of X and Y. And number 4, find the value of A and B. I hope you had a wonderful class today. Thank you very much and God bless you. I hope you have learned a lot. You can join us via our website at www.discoveryschoolsng.com. You can visit us at our campus 11, 21, 23, and 25, Benin Technical College Road, Ubo, Benin City, and at Upper Mission 268, Upper Mission Road, Benin City. Thank you.